Florida. It is Friday. I'm Eric Yetzi. And I'm JC Birch. We have our weather authority meteorologist, Julie Durda, here with the forecast. We've had storms every single day, Julie. Yep. I'm throwing a little birthday party for Jupiter tomorrow. Uh, your, <laughs> your weather forecast is depressing me. I know, and um, that's why... Uh, don't be cursing my name, okay? Because we're <laughs> celebrating Jupiter. It's about Jupiter. It's not about the weather, okay? Mother Nature doesn't listen to me when it comes to parties. I can tell you that. But we will be celebrating rain or shine as we are waking up this morning. I think we're going to start off the weekend just like this. Dry conditions overnight into the early morning hours. But then, yes, afternoon storms are expected. And the added influence to the moisture this weekend is the cold front. Now we have temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, so it's a nice mild start. We're ha happy to see dry conditions for those floodwaters to recede because we received a lot of rain yesterday. As expected each and every afternoon this week, I've warned you about those PM storms sparking the flooding concerns since our ground is so saturated. Currently we are rain free Broward and Miami Dade. The showers I've been watching have stayed offshore and I think they will do so till we get into the later half of the morning into the afternoon. Why? Because we have a cold front to the north of us, so our winds are out of the west southwest. Again, that's going to add to the moisture of the sea breeze and a short wave that's going to bring us those storms. Let's go to the tropical update. If you're just joining us, we had Sam develop yesterday. It was a tropical storm. It has intensified very quickly. Unfortunately, rapid intensification is expected now that it's got winds of 75 miles per hour. We're talking possibly the next advisory this afternoon, winds of 90 miles per hour as it's headed to the west northwest. We need to watch the system as it moves progressively to the west northwest because it's going to get very close to the northern leeward islands next week. More details on our weekend forecast coming up.